you think one book, how many thousands of books and conversations and ideas, how many mm. thousands of years of research have gone into creating one yeah. book? Yeah. People don't read to me, it's absolutely music. You know, particularly if someone coming from the background I come from. Mm. I mean, I come from the people that were forced not to not read. You know? Mm. The people fighting to get We don't realise how hard our people fought, literally fought to be editing. For whom it was illegal to read. And uh, they have a very long history of reading and writing. It was of course broken. Um, and then once that situation changed, people fought incredibly hard to be educated. You know? People like Booker T. Washington, Elijah McCoy, Dr. Charles Richard Drew, and we can go on with the list. So to me, to not read is lunacy, given how many people have sacrificed for me to be able to be educated. Um, and just given what it, it gives us. Of course, society encourages young people, particularly young working class people, particularly young working class ethnic boys from the inner city. Mm. That being dumb is cool. You know? Speak as stupid as you can. Yeah. Yeah. Tries to define the culture in that way, and I think it's very damaging. About five books you need to read to change your whole outlook on the world. Am I right? Literally, about five. There's about yeah, yeah, yeah. three, for example, a book like The Awakening of Intelligence by J. Christian Ray. Yeah. 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 Let's get on the sun. Let me want to smoke shit. Chill up. Yo, the sun don't chill up. What's the day's mathematics? Sun out. You know what I mean? So you spend three months of your time and your whole outlook is different. This idea that, I don't know, being a geek is uncool. Who sold us this idea? By geek, I mean someone that takes pride in being educated. Whoever sold you that idea is trying to oppress you. Yeah. It's very simple. Educated people run the world. Whoever's trying to sell you the idea that being uneducated is cool is taking you for an idiot. Yeah. Literally. And we yeah. we buy into it. We have, we, you know, like geeks run the world. Technicians, engineers, politicians, lawyers. You know? Yeah, geek. It's good to be a geek. Incredibly obsessed with only the high tech and, and, and you know computers and, and, and so on. So why do you think people are turning to words in the way that they seem to be? I think people. We were discussing this backstage actually. I think people are, are bored. I think people are bored of being told you know if you're intelligent, you're not sexy. People are bored of people who have no offence, but you know have no real talent being elevated as you know models for us to aspire to. I think people want to be inspired again, and, and there's nothing more inspirational than great literature throughout human history. That's that's been a constant, you know, and 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 whether that's delivered verbally or in the in the form of a text doesn't doesn't really matter. So I think people are turning away from the modes of popular culture just because they. they too scared of you to even bother to want to talk to you. And I'm sort of in between. I'm not old, I'm not young, I'm a teenager, I'm, I'm still a young person, you know? And, and I would say take care of each other, man. Inspire one another and realize that if you don't look out for one another, no one else is, is clearly going to do that. Some of the older people are going to help you, but for the most part, there's always that generational gap, especially in a society driven by materialism and driven by many of the other things we have here. 